for the purposes of this presentation, we're going to ignore the time or the brightness of the light, and we're just going to simply look at how many photons have fallen onto the sensor. The job of this sensor is to convert photons into electrons. And you will see that there's less electrons going through than the photons and have fallen down. Number of electrons you get per number of photons is the ratio, and that's called quantum efficiency. And it's actually, when you measure, it's one for one. So we've got a sensor which has 50% uh, quantum efficiency. And now what we need to do is we need to actually catch those pho photons somewhere. In technical terms, this is called the well. So we have a little you know, a bucket where we're catching these photons. It's really important to remember that it's actually an area. So now we've got our pixel size, which is explained, expressed in uh, microns. And then we've got some electrons getting caught in there. We start filling up our well. And as we fill it up, at some point, it gets full. That is called saturation capacity and it's measured in electrons. So the next step is to get like a little, you know, I, I have a little voltmeter here, you know, reads out how many electrons we have, and we'll get some signal, which is in electrons. Now, in addition to the noise we get from the shot noise, which is the photons just arriving randomly, we also have the inaccuracies in our little voltmeter, also expressed in electrons. So we have something that is called in the EMV8-1288, it's called temporal dark noise, but a lot of people call this read noise as well. Now we've got the signal, we've got the noise, and then when you get an image, people say, well, grayscale. You know, I don't, I don't get electrons in my image, I get grayscale. So to get to grayscale, we actually, there is a measurement called gain, which is the electrons per ADU, and ADU is analog to digital units, okay? So we basically convert the number of electrons that the sensor has caught into grayscale, and in the case of the standard, you know, it, everything, is, everything is expressed uh, in 16 bits, okay? Now I'm going to...